believe that New Zealand was two months ago? You remember this man with ties to the far right opening fire on two mosques in Christchurch, New Zealand, leaving 51 dead, injuring dozens more. Another hater, that's what he was, but he did something uniquely evil. He broadcast the massacre live on Facebook. Fewer than 200 people, we're told, watched the attack live. Facebook says it removed it 20 mi 29 minutes after it started. Within 24 hours after that, users attempted to re-upload it 1.5 million times. You know, judge that for what you want. The interest and reach aside, New Zealand's prime minister saw a need to regulate such online extremism. And she asked the world to join her in a pledge. When it came to the way that this attack was specifically designed to be broadcast and to go viral, well, responses to that needed a global solution. There is more work to be done here when it comes to stopping the proliferation of online and violent extremism. So that was the basis of the call. Hmm. 18 governments signed on to the Christchurch call for action. So have a number of companies, including Amazon, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, and Twitter. Now, the argument is about who's not on the list. Us. President Trump didn't want to join his counterparts in Paris for the signing. In a statement, the White House says, the United States stands with the international community in condemning terrorist and violent extremist content online. We agree with the overarching message of the Christchurch call for action. But then it goes on to say, the United States is not currently in a position to join the endorsement not currently in the position. I don't even understand what that means. Like, is it not ready? Do we not have time? You know, we have other things to sign? The White House officials say that the document could potentially conflict with the First Amendment. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Let's deal with this, two arguments. The Supreme Court has been very expansive in protecting speech. In fact, the evolution of jurisprudence has been more expansive to protect more speech even the most hateful ideas, things that we hate, we don't forgive, but we protect. The key word, though, is speech. Now, what did we see in Christ Church? We saw action. The murderer there did terrible things. He didn't just say them. He didn't just broadcast his ideas or even his verbal threats. He acted on them. Why am I being so deliberate with it? Because it's a meaningful distinction in the law and in common sense. And under the law, I believe, I argue to you, that it would meet the exception from protection, a clear and present danger that would reasonably lead to imminent threat of harm. How does it not make that reach that standard? It was that. He did harm. So why isn't the White House making this case? Are there good people on both sides of this one as well? Second argument. Since when does this administration tread gently around legal precedent? Examples, the president tried to ban Muslims, all of them, from coming here, knowing it violated the law. The emergency declaration we've been talking about tonight clearly abuses past precedent of what was a reasonable application of that 1976 statute, but he did it, right? He's currently flouting well-established precedent, a precedent as a president of cooperating on oversight regarding his tax returns and all those subpoenas. So, this president has always freely attacked judges and rulings he doesn't like, so why not be bold here? I do not see the legal limitation. I don't see it. Why not sign on? What is it? Why would this president not want to stop people from broadcasting violent acts? The most concerning point to me is he won't make the case to you. The White House won't come out and talk about it. They pushed it to the side, and I don't get it. I'm not making an assumption. I'm not trying to jaundice your perspective on this. I want it addressed by our people in power. It matters. It's not about speech. Yes, protesting, redressing the government, those are actions that could be seen as political speech. But this was an actual violent action that ch checks every box of what our Supreme Court has worried about in terms of legislating this. Why not?